Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an ad hoc so you can install on your device and test uh, as if you were um, actually the end user uh, downloading your game for the first time from the iTunes store. It's really good idea to test with an ad hoc uh, at the end um, as the viewer in the ad hoc could have different... Um, uh, different issues, things could run differently um, after it's published, so you always want to make sure you test with an ad hoc. It's also good if you want to send to friends, you can send them the ad hoc build and they can test without actually getting your, your physical code uh, from the game, so it's really cool. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is you're going to want to add your app IDs for your device or any of your friends devices that you're going to want to send the ad hoc to. Then you're going to go into provisioning um, actually, the first thing you're going to do is make an app ID for your game. So you're going to hit app ID, and uh, we're going to make an app ID called um, uh, My Ad Hoc. And you can use this over and over again if you wanted to. Um, you leave this blank, let, let them f pick one for you. And then you're going to hit your bundle identifier. So com.tshirtbooth.my ad hoc and if you don't have a domain like I always say just pick something that no one else in the world would pick uh, so com dot uh, you know your name and your birthday or something dot uh, the name of your app then you're gonna hit submit and then we're gonna go into provisioning profiles and we're gonna go into distribution and hit create new profile so here we're gonna choose app store or ad hoc and we're going to go ahead and choose ad hoc. It's basically the same steps, except you don't get to choose devices. Um, so in ad hoc, we're going to hit profile name, and we're going to call this uh, my ad hoc. And we're going to choose your um, your app ID. So we'll find my ad hoc that we made uh, right there, and then you select your devices. Once all your devices are selected, you're going to hit submit. Now this is going to take a second, we'll go down to the bottom here, and here it is, it's pending. Uh, as you can see, all my other stuff is expired and stuff, and that's because I revoked my certificates in order to uh, do the other video for you guys. Um, so now that it's here, my ad hoc, we're going to hit download, and then we'll shrink this. Now I'm going to go into uh, my downloads, and now you'll see in your downloads, my ad hoc mobile provisioning. Make sure your device is connected to the Mac. Um, give it a few seconds to you know load all the stuff it needs to load. Then double click this. It's going to open up Xcode. It's going to look for your device and it's going to install this on your device. So now you'll see my device is right here. I'll go into profile, uh, mobile provisionings. Um, it didn't install it, I guess, because it had to open. So just double click it again. And there it is. My ad hoc is right there. Um, so that's what we just made. So now what we'll do is we'll go into Game Salad, and we're gonna here's our cool game. We're gonna publish it. So we're gonna go iPhone, and I'm gonna create new. And I have an icon here I made. Put that in there. I'm gonna name my game. I ad hoc. Couple keywords. Hit next. And in our drop down menu, you choose the provisioning for that, which is my ad hoc. And uh, the name you want displayed, what version it is, hit next. Hit next. We're going to add a screenshot. I made that too. Oh, leave that there. Hit next. And now we're going to hit publish. Agree to the terms. Behaviors do not exist. Images do not exist. Sounds do not exist. Okay, that's just because I made a. I didn't make a game. I just made a new project, and and this is what we're doing. So, let me just hurry up and do this. And we're gonna save that to the desktop. Hit choose. Those errors are popped up. I really hate the firework sound that uh, this makes when it uh, when it's done. Um, those errors that I had, you won't have. It's only because I used a blank project. Um, so now we have our ad hoc that it downloaded. There's a circle with a line through it. Um, what you're going to want to do 
is just simply take this and in your device over here you're going to see applications click applications give it a second right now it's looking for the applications on my device there we go so I have the game cell viewer on there now simply just take your ad hoc drag it into here and let go give it a second and there you go now your ad hoc is successfully installed on your device you should be able to open your device up now and uh, play your game and um, if you ever want to get rid of it you just um, select it and hit delete and it will ask if you want to delete it and because I opened it on my device I can't delete it but um, that's pretty much it and um, everything about your iPhone is on here so you know your provisionings you can delete when you don't need them no more your applications you can delete when you don't need them no more um, and all that stuff so that's pretty much all you need to know about building an ad hoc and installing on your device and uh, head on over to gshelper.com there's plenty of more videos there for you to look at um, also uh, follow me on Twitter I'm uh, at, uh, at gshelper uh, and uh, I hope to see you in the next video